Official versus unofficial custom ROM builds. That is the topic for today's Android custom ROM basics. So the short and sweet answer is you cannot tell whether unofficial is good or official is good or whether unofficial is bad or official is bad. Why? That is because right now in the current situation making your own custom ROM is not very difficult. Why? Because people who actually do the bug fixes, add new features, that number is reducing. The number which is increasing is what they call build bots. And no offense, me, I was once a build bot when I used to build custom ROMs for the Pixel 2. Yep, yours truly did know how to build ROMs, which is your AOSP based ROMs from source, but I was a build bot. Once I got the hang of it, the process, I built like three or four or maybe five or six roms for the pixel 2 so i was a build bot once back in the day but all those builds were unofficial why because to make an official build or to say apply for ownership officially every rom has a separate or a different criteria some are strict some are very lenient so the likes of lineage os carbon your pixel experience nitrogen os arrow all these ROMs, just to name a few, I might have missed on some others, they have very strict criteria. Other ROMs, which of course I'm not going to name, the criteria is not very strict. And in fact, I have seen or I know of ROMs wherein even if you do not own the device, you can build a ROM for a device and you will get the official status. Now, no offense to those developers, but if you do not own the device, how are you going to support it in the long term or say, fix the bugs you might be a great developer i have seen awesome great developers building awesome great roms without owning the device but again those developers never you know added the tag of official or even applied for official ownership so again the lines in fact there are no rules it is the wild wild west wherein an official rom can be super bad and super crappy and unofficial builds can be great best example i have is lineage os for the redmi k20 pro the developer behind that is abhishek and abhishek is a member of the lineage os team but i think he never applied for official ownership or official builds for the redmi k20 pro the reason i do not know but he never did but the builds he posts are awesome and they are great that is one example another example i have is evolution x for the poco f1 so on those videos i get a lot of comments when will evolution x be official for the poco f1 see the thing here is the developer for evolution x for poco f1 is lakshe he's the same dude who builds pixel experience for the poco f1 as well now he is maintaining two roms out of his own free will and he decided not to apply for official status for evolution x for the poco f1 but then again we also know the builds he pushes out are great stable and awesome right so you clearly do not need an official tag when you know that the unofficial is as good as the official build so again stop you know pestering developers for official tags it's just a name and a tag because you can have crappy shitty official builds and you can have awesome great unofficial builds similarly the vice versa is also true so official unofficial right now is just a tag on the thread on xda or your post on the telegram channel or the telegram group 